Now, I don't like calling out the biggest manufacturers in the small engine industry, but this is bullshit. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. Yes, I have a doozy for you today. Yes, I have known about this for quite a long time. And no, I have not said anything because I have a hard time calling out some of the biggest small engine manufacturers in the industry. But the fact is, is this is really screwed up and I want to tell y'all about it. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments, and I'll reply to all the early commenters. So why are we here? I had a customer come in today with their almost brand new looking steel FS56 trimmer. And when they came in, everything was fine with the engine. It ran great and they had been using this gear head with this head on it and, and shield, but they said that um, it was making a sound and would not spin anymore. It didn't have a thrust plate on it, which I thought was odd. It had large holes in the back of the gear head here. And with further inspection, I realized this isn't even the gear head that's supposed to be on that trimmer anyways. So I wondered why would this almost brand new trimmer have a used probably steel FS85, steel FS55, something like that gear head and head on it. It sort of was a little odd to me. But then I remembered, wait a minute, they've changed something. And with the trend I've been showing you about all of those upgrades all these manufacturers are doing, you know, the changes are never better. So let me take you in the back of the shop. I'm gonna show you a bunch of gear heads from trimmers of the past and show you exactly what's on them. So this is the very back of the shop where I keep trimmers and chainsaws, hedge trimmers, blowers, and stuff that are ready for customers to be picked up or ones that I've decided to hold on to. And one thing I want to show y'all is all of these trimmers have something in common. They all have grease plugs. Grease plug. That's an old steel. That's a Husqvarna. We come to another steel in Husqvarna. This one's got a grease plug. This one has a grease plug. We come over to the back here to some junkers that I have. We got a Shindawa and it's got a grease plug. We got an old Echo. It's got a grease plug. I've got another steel. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it's got a grease plug. It's probably FS91 or oh, it's a 90. Grease plug. So pretty much every single straight shaft trimmer that we've seen forever and ever and ever has had a grease plug for you to be able to grease your gear head with. Well, in a video I put out probably about a year and a half, two years ago, it was about the speed feed head, the most awesome trimmer head you could possibly ever have. If you have not used one of these yet, you, you do not know what you're missing out on. I do leave a link in the description box below of all of my videos so you can find that. Also, you can find it at chicanic.com. I'm promising guys, get the universal one. It fits on almost everything. There is a list on that original video that I will leave a link right up here if you want to check that out, but speed feed head's awesome. But the most common question I got on that video was sort of astounding to me that no one even knew that they had a grease plug on their gear head. Now, why do you need to grease them? That's because on most all straight shaft trimmers, you have a shaft coming down that probably has a square or splined end on it that goes into your gear head and it will fit into one back end of a gear, rides along another gear, and these things roll at like 12,000 RPMs, which is like 400 miles per hour, and it just seems better if it has some lubrication. I can tell you that the majority of all the trimmers that I get into the shop, which is hundreds of them, usually need grease in their gear head. Now, I know y'all loved the Briggs & Stratton video I made about their no oil change, just check and add you know, engines, so you're gonna really love this one. Or you're gonna say, what the hell? Just like I am. All right, so we have a steel FS56RC. And we're gonna go on up to this gear head and I don't know guys, what are we missing here? Where's 
the grease plug. This is the hole that you stick it in to lock it to get your head off. And uh, there's no grease plug, guys. That's all I got to say about it. No way to grease it. Nope. And no, I'm not going to leave out Echo. I've got a brand new SRM 225. And uh, I don't see any grease plug. This is not a grease plug. This is just a screw to hold it in place in the shaft so it doesn't move back and forth on you and keep it tightened down. No, there is no grease plug. But as you can see here, this one has been used and abused a little bit, but it's still an SRM 225 and it still had a grease plug. But that's not all. Let me shock you a little more. Now I'm fixing to let you in on the most awesome money saving trick ever. If you need to buy another gearhead for one of these trimmers, the Echo one that is greasable is $150. The steel ones are about $150. Do not buy either one of these. Both of these units come in a different version as a combi or a split boom trimmer, which means the center of the shaft comes apart and you're able to put other kinds of attachments on there. If you need one for the Echo, you can actually get an entire lower end shaft, which you can just throw away, but you get the gear head, a new shield, and a head where all you have to do is pop it on with one screw for $89.99 or $99.99, depending on what store you go to. So the head alone is like $35. That's an awesome deal. Same way with the steel. It's $109 to buy just the split boom end. You can just throw away the shaft part, put the gear head right on there with one screw, and you've got a brand new $40 head. Why they sell just the gear head for $150, but an entire gear head with head and shield and shaft for $100, I don't get it. So what do you guys think? I mean, do I got any engineers out there that can tell me how they magically came up with two gears that can run together at 12,000 RPMs or 400 miles per hour and never need any grease added to it? I don't think so. I think it's all the same parts and they just decided to take the grease plug out and I don't understand that at all. And I just wanna let y'all know about it. Now, I do have to admit that in 12 years of selling Echo, I have never once had to warranty a gearhead with a grease plug. I do not know about these yet, and I can say the only ones I've ever had to replace were ones that were completely worn out from just abuse of commercial users and never greasing them. Now on the steels, I've changed out tons of them, mostly because this town has a lot of steel people in it, and I just see them a lot more than I see the other brands. Mostly it's been from abuse, not greasing them, and commercial use. So even without the plug, you're gonna probably be able to keep your trimmer going for a long time and the gearhead might be fine, but I just still don't understand. Why would they get rid of this? This one little extra thread and bolt to be able to grease your gearhead. So guys, hopefully this video will save you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me on Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash chicanic. Find me at Instagram at the real chicanic or find me at chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys and have a great day. Echo does offer a five-year warranty for any manufacturer defect. I'm up at the shop at night and somebody is driving a mower past. <laughs> what? It's 9.30. <laughs> He just knocked on the door too and wanted to come in and I had to tell him we're closed because I'm here by myself. <laughs> ah. Something's crawling around in my ceiling and it sounds huge. <laughs>